Hello everybody and welcome back to the WHU Pulse channel to the Shakhtar Super League career mode and it is the last we're getting into the last week of this series it's gonna be tough it's gonna be hectic and it's gonna be fun because we are near the top of the table and it, especially in today's episode there is a huge match but we're just going to go have a look at what the board we wanted to learn. We're, we're doing well with the board after our terrible start, we will say. But there are 15 games left of the season. If we play three in each episode, which we are going to do, that is five episodes. So the series, well, not this, well, this season should end on Friday. So... We go over to the office, we go have a look, we've got Zivkov sold, he will leave. We've got Kestalejo, we've got press conference, and then we've got a final scout put on Yeri Mina. But, as you did probably see, we have the biggest match of the season against Cologne. Because if we win this match, we go level on points with Cologne. And that could be huge. And other than that, other than uh, Cologne in today's episode, we will be playing... Torino and Locomotive Moscow. We will go double check where Locomotive Moscow and Torino are. Locomotive are 8th and Torino are down the bottom, I do believe. Yes, 22nd. But the Cologne game is the big game. So we're going to go to the squad and we're going to have a look. Obviously, the team is going to be the same. You saw me in the last episode, I do believe. Uh, we bought in some new players. We bought in Jedas. We bought in Coates. We bought in De Vrij on a pre-contract. We bought in Vukovic. Um, I know this wasn't in the last episode, but we bought in Hirodeki on a pre-contract. So I thought we made some uh, good signings in the transfer window. We're moving up players. Hopefully we can move up. Otherwise we'll have too good of a side to play in League One next year. And I'm hoping we can be in the championship for next year. So, as always, we will hunt stop jump straight into the game against Cologne and I will see you at kickoff. And we're here for the kickoff against Cologne. The biggest match of our season. Well, the best game later on in the season would be bigger than this depending on the result of this. But at the current moment it is a huge match. And as always, I will see you when there is some action and that is Koziello on the ball here for Cologne into Sorensen. His Hoga. His great form in midfield. Cordoba. Same thing. Morega on the ball. It's Fred. Plays it over to Golovin. Dodo. Making sure that each pass is Golovin. <sighs> Tried to flick that through Bernard, but doesn't quite come off. Here is Bittencourt. It's Malay. Morega. Coyote. Here is Morega. Cuts inside. Squares it. Shed us. It's a ricochet, but it's gone in. 1-0 to Shakhtar. Jedas with the finish. Get in there. Nice goal indeed. Well, it wasn't a nice goal, but it's a good goal for us because that is a huge goal. If we can hold on to this, it was ricocheted. It's going to go down as a Timo or Horn. Yep, Timo Horn own goal. It doesn't matter. The ball's in the back of the net. 1-0 Shakhtar. Right. Hoga straight off the bat after kickoff. Here's Merry. Goal of him. Morega. Start of the second half for you. Right, start of the second half here. After that goal, there wasn't really much to be done. I mean, we had a couple of half chances. Team, we tested Team of Horn a little, but nothing of real note. So hopefully we can kick on the second half. They have not got anywhere near our goal. As I say that, I will curse it. But still, it is a team that can really hurt I'll see you when there is some action in the second half. And if it just skips straight to the 90-minute, you can tell that this game was a waste of time and or a waste of hype even. So yeah, but his four. Warn. Leave. Kitsky, nice. His Vukovic. Fred. Bernard. Right, Morega. His Bernard. Bernard. Sees that run out. Kind of a strike. It's not full time yet, so. Right, Morega's gone off. I can't quite. Oh, Kovalenko's come back on. Right, can we try and hold this out? Right, Wellington Nems nicked it. And it's a 1 0 win. 
for Shakhtar, that's a huge result in the season. We go level on points for Cologne. We should at least be in second. We might even be joint top, and I'll see. Torino. And we back. Malaga. As you can see, Ajax three. We are technically joint top of the table. If we just go look for all these scout ports quickly, but the big coup so far, and it is huge. There are three sides battling for the two promotion spots and even first place. The only thing that's letting us down right now is the amount of goals we've scored. Uh, we've got one of the best defences in the league. In fact, we've got the joint best defence in the league. But the amount of goals scored just isn't good enough. But the two matches coming up against Locomotive and Torino are huge of the fact that we can't afford to drop points if we want to stay in this position. So there's not really going to be much. I might, I'll show you the team that I'll change around. Obviously, it's all something to change of the teaming. But I actually don't know what the season's going to return. Obviously, it should be done by Friday. Or maybe even Saturday. But we could see an interesting end to the season obviously if we get all these yeah goodbye well, unfortunately i am gonna have to blow back upside maybe not right piotr will stay in goal butko uh kritchov and singraven we'll keep golovin in the midfield and we'll bring in julian weigel uh, we will go with Wellington them on the left on the right. We will go Kovalenko there and Petrak on the left. With you know what? No, not Morega. Roger Martinez deserves a start up front, you know. So that's gonna be the side that plays Torino in the next game, which you will see. We are here at the Odromo for the match against Torino. I can't remember what the score was at the start of the season, but just seeing playing Torino now, I, you will see it like you probably guess. I'm actually going to go put a striker on the shortlist who I'm interested in for next year. You've probably just seen him go on the screen, but it will be Belotti that I'll put on the transfer or the sh uh, uh, shortlist. Yes. But anyway, hopefully we can get a win. A draw I will be, I won't be happy with. Niang. It was played in Belotti with a tackle or Critchell with a tackle. All right. Here's Niang. Podence. Kitsky, Weigl, Kovalenko, got the ball. Uh, Kovalenko, can we get a last minute goal at the break? Here's Petriak, is through. Petriak plays that over the bar, and that is half time at 0 0 here between Shakhtar and Turi. Right, second half kicks off with Roger Martinez. Hopefully, I've, I think we were the, actually no, I've, it was a, it was even. Both sides of chances, so. This game's still in the balance, and as always, I will see you when there is some action. Kovalenko. Ak Aqua. Bolotti. Niang. Right Sink Graben. Here's Nem. Nem with the running, Nem with the running, Nem with the cutback. Oh, we skinned him. Ball gets with Tim Weigel with the power header by the German. Julian Weigel, what a header. 1-0 Shakhtar because of the CDM. Julian Weigel coming up from DM and powering it into the back of the net. 1-0 Shakhtar. Wellington then with the pace. Cuts back. Great skill. He's been great all season. Powerful header by Julian Weigel. 1-0 Shakhtar. The way he lost his marker there. Good movement in the box. So the first goal, it's one that... Piatov clears. He's got of him. Looking good. Niang. Advantage played. We love to see it. All right, Belotti. That's good He's got his shot off. What a strike! What a strike! Oh, okay then. That, yeah, that I definitely think in the summer we are making moves for Andrea Belotti. If he can hit a ball like that, he's definitely coming into this club. Well, as long as we can afford it. Great turn, and yeah, season. It'd be nice if my strike would actually run. But anyway, here's Jedas. Always looked in. Just past Kovalenko. Butko's going to get there, though. Butko, the right back. Butko with the ball in. Ball in. Julian Weigel's there again. Julian Weigel is on fire right now in this game. 
The second header is scored coming in. He's causing havoc at the defence. He just causes so much trouble. Look at this. Great play by Butko. Great ball in. And Julian Vargo making the run again. And powers it past Salvatore Sirigu. That could be another huge goal for this season. Now we have to hold on, though. And yes, you could probably see in the bottom left-hand corner that I am parking the bus. I want these three points. Aqua. Fred. Vukovic. It's Kovalenko. Vukovic comes in with a challenge. Oh, Falke. Falke and Kulu. It's a goal kick. Who fit Pia off? Get this out, get this out, get this out. Roger Martinez with the header. 2-1 win. There we go. There we go. Come on. 2-1 win. That is huge. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, guys. This seems to be a recurring thing on my channel. But I'm going to have to end the video early. Personal reasons, I'm sorry. I've just... But then again, it does sort of add tension to the vi like the season. Because how many games we've got left now? What, 13? Yeah, 13 games. They're big games. They are big games. But yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, that has to be. Uh, this has to be done. Uh, the, I'll still try and get the series finished by Friday. Maybe Saturday, maybe Sunday. I'm sorry. But it will definitely be finished this week. Don't you worry. Okay? But as always, I hope you guys invid enjoy it videoed, enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, hit subscribe. Look forward to the FIFA 9 content coming out very, very soon. Early access comes out on the 20th, if I believe. It needs to happen and quick. <laughs> but, on the last of that, as always, I'll catch you later.